What's up, Summit Park kids? Hey, it's Dr. Rory, and welcome back to my laboratory. The police officers just left, and I just had a new security system installed because Pastor Tim up and broke into my lab last week. But I'm back, and today we're going to be talking about floating eggs. And what we're going to do is a little fun experiment, and to do it, you need two cups, some salt, a stir can be a spoon or a straw in my case, and three eggs. I got three eggs here, I'll prove them to you. I don't know you need those. You're right, I do need these. We need to calm down, it's experiment time. What we're gonna do is make eggs float today. So you get all these uh, ingredients, ask your parents, make sure they'll help you out with it, and you can just conduct the experiment with me. So here we go. What we're gonna do is drop the first egg in the water. Just blank, easy cup of water, I'll take a drink of it. Fresh water, can be water straight from the sink. You're gonna take one egg and drop it in. Didn't float. As you can see, straight to the bottom of the cup. You're gonna take, this is salt, you're gonna dump it into the second cup. Right now it's fresh water, same thing. Ah, great. But you're gonna dump the salt in now. Okay, now you're gonna stir it up a little bit, get it good. I don't think that's quite enough salt yet. What do you think? Dump the rest of it in. All right, good to go there. Stir it up. Don't drink this though. This is now salt water. You don't want to drink this. What's gonna happen, we're gonna pick this egg up now, give it one more good stir before you put it in, and boom, egg is in. And if you can see, I'll try and hold it up a little bit closer to the camera, the egg is floating. What we have had happen is the water is heavier than the egg itself, in turn, making the egg float. That egg floating on top of the water kind of plays into our Bible lesson today. We're gonna to be talking about Jesus walking on the water. But Dr. Rory is not able to talk about that. We're gonna give it back to you now, Michaela. 